Okay, this is a quick little guide um, to understanding how to set up Salesforce Inbox. The first page here just has a summary, and then I've included screenshots so you kind of can match them up. Um, the first thing is that make sure that you have the Salesforce add-in for Outlook. Uh, if you were previously using the most recent add-in as opposed to there was some legacy plugin, um, it's the same add-in, but now we're adding a different path for that essentially to get to Salesforce. So it should improve performance and reduce issues and it actually gives you some additional features. Uh, if you don't have the add-in, you can use this URL, appsource.microsoft.com forward slash en dash us dash product dash office dash wa 104379334 question mark. Oh, there's a whole bunch of crazy stuff in there, but um, you could probably click this link in the presentation. If not, then you can search Google for Salesforce add and you should find it as well. Um, we will then, when you're ready tonight, add in the Salesforce inbox license and the inbox without activity capture permission set to your Salesforce account. This will then prompt you when you log back in. So what'll happen is you're gonna go to your Outlook in the morning or whenever this is added and you'll be prompted. You can click the Salesforce view or view Salesforce button in the top right hand corner. Um, you will be prompted to then connect to your Salesforce login. Uh, it'll ask you to agree to terms, which you will do. You will select Office 365 as opposed to Exchange. You'll see two options. Choose Lightbox or your EDRNet um, Outlook identification. So whatever the email identity is that you log in with. Some people, even though you have a lightboxre.com address, you might have an EDRNet uh, mailbox username, if that makes sense. So whatever you are able to log in with, it's either one of those two. When prompted for permissions accepted, choose accept. And then in Outlook, um, you'll probably see a pop-up that says meet the updated feed. You can just X out of that or hit got, got it. And from there, you should be able to log emails to contacts in Salesforce opportunities and cases. So if uh, you have an email on the right sidebar, you would see basically um, any related contacts, opportunities, or cases. So these are the screens. So you'll see you'll be prompted after you select view Salesforce button, which is actually in the top right hand corner. Uh, don't have it in this screenshot, but you should see it in the top right hand corner. I'll add an additional screen on this actually. Um, click continue, you will be prompted to allow access. You can see Salesforce IQ, that is the same thing as inbox, it's just rebranded. You'll click allow, and then you'll be prompted to agree to this terms and conditions. This is where you select Office 365, pick your Microsoft identification. You will be prompted to um, accept the permissions. And then this is what I was saying, there'd be a pop-up called meet the updated feed. You can just click got it or X out. And then you should see for any email that you are active on, any related people, accounts, or cases. And if you wanna log email, you select log email. If you're in the middle of composing an email, you can say save upon send. So you can do it in advance. So you can then work on your email and then when you send it, it'll actually sync it back to Salesforce. If there's any questions, let us know.